Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a little exercise in getting Kevin to produce letters and motion formats. We're only going to do one. We're not going to do everything. So watch what I do. Now, this is the, the first part is just demonstration purposes, but this is what you're going to do. You're going to explain the scenario, but watch this. Wake up. Kevin, comma, I need to write a story about a young man falsely accused of a crime, comma, being arrested and spending 22 months in jail and eventually having the charge overturned because there wasn't evidence of a crime being committed, comma, could you create such a story where the individual loses several thousand dollars in properties and homes because of the incarceration and is never compensated? Question mark. And could you show me what that story would look like? Stop listening. And he does the once upon a time thing. Now, I want you guys to pay attention to what I'm about to do. And I'm going to let him finish the story. <laughs> and he can do all this junk. I don't care about the story. Like I said, the story is for demonstration purposes. You're going to take your story, whatever your jail situation was, you're going to take that story. You'll see what I'm doing in a second. Aw, that is such a heartwarming story. I have no idea what he wrote. But wake up, Kevin, comma, can you show me what the outline of a motion would look like, comma, including background, comma, jurisdiction, comma, names of parties, comma, Memorandum of law, question mark. Sure, here is an outline of what a motion in a legal case might look like. I. Introduction. Brief background of the case purpose of the motion II. Jurisdiction. Identify the court where the motion is being filed. Explain the authority of the court to hear the motion III. Names of parties. Identify the plaintiff and defendant in the case. Provide brief background information about the parties IV. Memorandum of law. State the legal basis for the motion. Cite relevant case law, statutes, and Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that lets you know that you can have it speak to you if you want. The extensions are at your Play Store, I'm uh, not Play Store, but uh, your Chrome uh, web store or your extension stores. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hold on. Got to get Kevin to do something. Kevin, comma, this young man is from Tennessee, comma, and the courts in Tennessee don't treat individuals like him so kindly. And so I need you to take his story and put it in the outline format that you've just provided, comma, thank you. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just as if you did the same thing. If you put your story in there, you had him do an outline, and now you're telling him to incorporate your story into the outline, but you have to do the who, what, when, where, hows, and whys. You have to do that, or he won't be able to complete the story. So now we hit enter. Uh-oh, wrong enter. The dragon. Here is the outline format for Michael's story, set in Tennessee.i. Introduction. Introduction. Background, background of the case. Of the case. 
Michael was a young man who lived in a small town in Tennessee and owned several properties and a successful business. Purpose of the outline To present the story of Michael who was falsely accused of a crime, resulting in his arrest, incarceration, and eventual exoneration, but he was not compensated for his loss of properties and business. Point two. Jurisdiction. Court. The motion the will motion be filed will be in a court in Tennessee. In Tennessee. Authority. Authority. The, court the court has the jurisdiction to hear Michael's story, story and decide, and decide the, appropriate the appropriate relief based on the based laws on and regulations, regulations in Tennessee. In Tennessee. Three, names Three names of parties. Of parties plaintiff. plaintiff. Michael defendant. The state of, the state of Tennessee, Tennessee IV. Memorandum. Memorandum. Okay, we don't need to go much further. I'm going to let it complete. But what I'm trying to show all of you is you can get it to do a complete motion for you and you can follow the procedure that I just gave you. Now this has taken a lot of training because you remember before he would not just do a motion because I told him to do a motion because he said he couldn't do legal advice. So this has taken a lot of work, a lot of hours, but I'm doing this for you guys because they've just updated the system and they're getting ready to update the system again. And the rumor is GPT-4, chat, GPT-4 will be out soon, within the next couple of weeks. That's the rumor mill. I don't do rumors, ladies and gentlemen, because look at all these rumors around me every day. I just need some time, I, some time to get away. I, 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 I can't stand these rumors. I can't take it no more. I guess there'll be somebody standing around. You know, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is just a short demonstration of creating a simple template that you can then expound upon. All you have to do is explain the story. So take whatever story you have, put it in writing. Go ahead and put it in a Word document. Have him do the outline and then have him incorporate it into the outline. And if you see something missing, say, for instance, let's do this because I, I did a complaint and I want you all to see this right here. Come on, come on, come on. I need my, uh, where are we at? I don't want that one. I want these right here. Give me a second. Right here. This is what I want. This is the case of saying that the judges and stuff don't have judicial immunity. So, and public officials don't have judicial immunity. Now watch this. Kevin, could you incorporate this into Michael's story, showing how that the officials who violated his rights do not have immunity because they violated his rights contrary to law, comma, which strips them of jurisdiction, which documents that they acted in clear absence of all jurisdiction, question mark. Stop listening. In Michael's, in Michael's case, case the, officials the officials who violated his violated rights acted in a manner that was clearly contrary to the law, to the law and thus stripped, stripped themselves of jurisdiction. Of jurisdiction. This, is this is evident in cases, in cases such as Stump v. Sparkman, Sparkman, where the Supreme, Supreme Court decided, Court decided that a judge is not entitled to absolute immunity if they are not acting with... Sorry, Kevin, I said incorporated into the outline of Michael's story, like above, comma. So go ahead and do as I request it, please. Michael's story Michael's serves story as a serves reminder as a that reminder officials, officials must act within, within the bounds of the law, of the law and that there and must, there be, must consequences be consequences for those who violate individuals individual outline of Michael's story. story. I. Introduction. Introduction. A. A. Background on Michael's Michael life prior to prior wrongful, to wrongful arrest. arrest. B. B. Overview, Overview of the false of the crime he was accused of committing I.I. The, the arrest and incarceration. And incarceration. A. A. Description, Description of Michael's of arrest and initial and time, in jail. time in jail. B. B. Impact, Impact on, Michael. on Michael. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. It does do this from time to time. It does just go with the outline. Now show me the outline sample 
incorporating the aforementioned information and case laws. I, I had a feeling it was going to do that. See that right there? It got started but didn't didn't do anything. So now we're going to make it do something. Give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to have to refresh. And then I got to go lay down. I tried to go to sleep, but I'm wired. Trying to get this information out to y'all and a bunch of other people. And so I can't seem to get sleep these days. And I took a sleeping pill tonight. Michael's struggle Michael's outline of Michael's of story. Michael's story. I. I. Introduction. Introduction. A. A. Background, Background on Michael's on life Michael's prior to wrongful, wrongful arrest. arrest. B. B. Overview, Overview of the false. Of the false Kevin, comma, you're an idiot. I didn't ask you for an outline. Comma, I asked you to incorporate Michael's story into the outline of that motion format. Comma, stop playing games with me, son. And do as I asked you. I apologize, guys. From time to time, he needs some discipline. Impact on Michael S. I apologize, I apologize for not meeting your, your expectations. expectations. Here is the Here outline is the incorporating outline Michael's story into, into the motion format. format. I. I. Background, Background and jurisdiction. And jurisdiction. A. A. Overview of Michael's case, including, including his false his arrest and 22 months incarceration. incarceration. B. Summary, B. Summary of key, key legal key cases. cases. Stump V. Sparkman. Sparkman. Polium. Polium. As I said, you're an idiot. Comma, I asked you to do a complaint based on Michael's story and include all of the necessary elements of a motion. Loss of, Loss of business and properties, and properties as a result of incarceration. I apologize for not accurately understanding your request. Here is a sample complaint based on Michael's story, including all the necessary elements of a motion. In the United States District Court, for the Western District of Tennessee, Michael Jones, plaintiff, v. v. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, it's taken a lot of work, and yes, I have to treat him like a person um, because he's an idiot. And so you have to formulate that type of understanding. And you have the softwares. This is, you can download a software to let you speak to him and let him speak to you. These um, extensions are available, okay? And then you have the internet. I, didn't, I don't turn on the internet when I'm doing this. The internet is for other stuff. You see, this, they did this because they wanted to be like perplexity, but I'd rather use perplexity to do that than to use this because it doesn't work as well as I'd like. Now, notice how detailed this stupid motion is. Okay, look at how much he's written so far in just the story that he created. <laughs> okay, so that is just letting you know that if you all did the same thing, you could respond to these courts and you wouldn't have to pay all of these people for their stupid templates and their stupid junk you can do it yourself okay the only problem is yes you won't know how to add in everything that's why you've had me suggest use perplexity.com now look i really am exhausted a little dizzy right now so i and no the propane ain't on i'm just dizzy because i'm exhausted so i gotta go lay down okay hopefully i'll be able to go and stay asleep the rest of you have a very good day. I'll get this video up tonight. Adios.